Now let's go to some other key components. Okay, we can you can have a uh, economic uh, component, key component, or uh, polit political key components or an ethical key components. For economical key components, we have the full cost pricing. So full cost pricing, these these are the inclusion of the harmful environmental costs of producing and using of goods and services in their market prices. So if you are an economist, you can you can uh, include what are the harmful and the environmental costs of when you use these goods and services so that the consumer will have the idea or will realize ah this product or these services as the as the harmful effects in the environment as well as harmful effects in human health and also it can also possess a uh, greater impacts on the environment Okay, so the consumer now or the company now will have an idea that these products or these services, okay, will will cost them a lot in terms of their health, in terms of their prices, okay, and also the environmental impact. So that is the the full co full cost pricing uh, idea, okay, or that can uh, that can an economy economies okay uh, uh, persuade okay the 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 people okay the people to maintain a sustainable uh, environment okay so that's it that is the full full cost pricing uh, component of sustainability secondly is the win-win solution okay so win-win solution is that this is actually a uh, and uh, we can learn to work together okay, in dealing with environmental problems by recognizing our interdependent connections with others and with our life support system. So that is the win-win solution. So we work together in order to achieve our goal of a sustainable environment. Okay, not not win-lose approach, but rather win-win solution because. That's what I have said earlier that interdependence will sustain life. We should be an we should have an interdependent connection with each other in order to to create a solutions to environmental problems. Okay, in order to support the in order to uh, to maintain the Earth's uh, life support system. Okay, because that will affect us in the near future and also that will affect the environment. So we must have this kind of mindset, the win-win solution mindset. Okay, not, not really like win-lose approach but rather win-win solution. And the last one is responsibility to future generations. That we should leave the planet's life support system in at least as good as good a condition as that which we now enjoy, if not better for future generation. Okay, we will leave this planet. No, that we we will ensure that the future generation will also enjoy what is, uh, what, 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 uh, that the ne next or the the future generation will also enjoy. Uh, this planet as good condition as it is okay that we are experiencing it as we are kind of alive we are alive okay we are uh we are still here uh in this in this planet or we are enjoying the the good condition of the of the life support system okay then we will leave this planet as good as it is for future generation or for our offspring for our a kids for the children okay because that, that, that that's it okay that is the responsibility to future generation that should be our also our mindset okay in order for to achieve a sustainable life okay now the, the last one topic for this uh, week's lesson okay is that three types of resources okay I, I already discussed this earlier but let me introduce this first again. Okay, 
So number one is inexhaustible. Okay, so these are the resources that that can can that can supply us in a very long period of time. Okay, because it cannot be depleted unless it runs off or it dies, but it can supply us for just for almost uh not almost but for as long as like six billion years. Okay, like for example, solar energy it can supply us, and it will not be like somehow run off. Okay, and and unless the sun will die. Okay, and also we have wind energy and geothermal energy. So these are inexhaustible uh inexhaustible resources that we can use okay solar energy is very important as what i have said earlier because it will uh, it warms our planet and therefore used by plants the energy will be used by plants to produce uh, nutrients okay wind energy is also important like for example windmill okay those windmills are actually produce electricity okay that can uh, light our homes okay okay that can you we can use that electricity to light our homes Windmill is actually present in, I think, in Ilocos, okay? In Ilocos, uh, Norte region, okay? Geothermal energy is also import, important. Uh, so, have you have, you have, uh, have, you have uh, uh, known the EDC or the Energy Development Corporation? That is actually, they use geothermal energy, okay? That is coming from the, because the Mount Talinis now is actually an active volcano, okay? So, inactive, uh, that is an active volcano. So, the geothermal there, okay? in that mountain or or the, the, the steam there it's actually produces steam okay so that steam there will be used by the by the energy development corporation company okay to be to to run the turbine okay to produce electricity which actually uh, the one that supplies us with that kind of energy to uh, that supplies us that kind of energy which actually lights our homes or 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 uh, which lights our homes, okay, throughout all the negros, okay. So that's the 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 job of the the energy development corporation, okay. They are the ones who supplies us with large amount of electricity in order to light uh, us uh, all the all around, okay, the negros oriental, okay. So that is inexhaustible our resources another one is we have renewable resources so these are water okay we have trees uh, topsoil and fresh water so we will say renewable resources that that the energy uh, that the nature has the ability to to restore it after we use that okay but it's only short period of time because it can be renewed already okay it's not long period of time but it's a uh, totally short period of time Okay, that is a renewable uh, resources that the that the nature can restore them at a short period of time. Okay, but even if uh, 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 we use that resources, okay, if we use that resources, but but it doesn't affect uh, the the nature's ability to restore that resource, then we can attain a sustainable yield. Okay, so it doesn't affect how the nature can restore that resource when we use that resources or that renewable resources, then we are actually at attaining a sustainable yield. Okay, so that is a renewable resources. Okay, this can, these are resources that can be renewed or can be restored at uh, when we use them in a short period of time. Okay, well... The last one is what we call the non-renewable resources. These are actually exhaustible resources because it takes a lot of time for these resources to be restored, okay, or to be renewed. So example of these are fossil fuels, you have oil or mineral, minerals, or like natural gas or coal, and we have iron and copper. Okay, so these are non-renewable or exhaustible resources.